over the last few months, this used to be screened in porch has been going through quite the transformation from demo day to a new wall being built, installing new windows, insulation, and more. And now in today's episode, you are going to get to see all the most recent progress that has happened in this room over the last few weeks. And by the end of this video, this room is really going to start taking shape and we are getting so close to it being completely finished. Starting off this video at Lowe's, we had to pick up a bunch of supplies for this room, drywall for the walls and ceilings, drywall mud, different little tools, two by fours, shiplap for the ceiling, painting accessories, just everything that we would need to finish this room. We weren't able to get everything except for the flooring. We had to order that and I'm going to pick it up a week later. We have spent a lot of time in Lowe's over the last couple of years between renovating our house and then renovating the flip house and now working on this project. It's always a good time together. The kids always have fun. So once we got everything we needed, then we loaded it all up in the truck and we had a full load in the back of the truck. After all of that, we needed some coffee. So we headed over to Dutch Bros and grabbed some iced coffees, got the kids little smoothies, and then we stopped and grabbed some groceries before making the trip back home. Okay, so it's the next morning and the first thing Jalen is going to do this morning is to install insulation in the ceiling. And also on this morning, Tucson window and door showed up to install our new sliding doors in the living room. We had ordered these a couple of months ago and they finally came in. So those were getting installed on this day as well. I'll give you a little sneak peek of those later on in the video. So there was a couple of things Jalen had to do before he started installing drywall. The first thing was to finish insulating this room. We had ran out of insulation at the end of the last video and so he had to pick up more of that and then he just finished insulating that wall. He insulated the ceiling and then he had to remove the boards that were around the top of the ceiling. And now he's working at removing both of these doors and the door frames. For the last couple of months, we just couldn't decide which of these doorways we were going to be keeping and which one we were going to drywall over. In the end, we did ultimately decide to just keep the doorway that's going into the dining room and drywall over this smaller doorway. There's positives and negatives to both and we just kept going back and forth about it. We couldn't make up our minds, but the original plan was to keep the doorway that went into the dining room. And so we just went back to our original plan and decided that is what we are going to do because we really wanted this back wall behind my desk to be like a wall of shelves or cabinets, something like that and for it to just go wall to wall and ceiling to floor and the only way we could do that was to eliminate that doorway. It was about late morning here and at this point those guys had finished removing our old sliding doors out in the living room and they were starting to install the new sliding doors which was really exciting. Like I said I'll give you a little sneak peek of those later but here you're getting to see a few little clips of that install. I didn't want to be filming them the whole time so I just got a couple of clips as they were carrying them up to the porch. 
Um, but back to the doorways in this soon to be office. Like I said, we're going to keep the doorway going into the dining room, but we are going to close it up a little bit just because right now this large doorway is not centered in the middle of the wall in the dining room. So closing it up a little bit and making it smaller will make it centered in the room. And then here in a couple of weeks, we will be adding sliding wooden barn doors to either side of this opening, and those will stay open in the dining room most of the time. getting close to lunchtime so I'm going to start a pot of chili and I'd also been making sourdough bread that day. I was prepping some sourdough sandwich bread and I'd also made my first round loaf of sourdough bread. I shared that over on Instagram and I'll have to share the process of making it here on YouTube sometime as well because it is a really fun process and a new hobby of mine. But anyway, this was just a really simple chili recipe I was making. I'll type up the exact recipe down in the description box. that sliding door frame was very difficult to get out he was working at that for a while and it was kind of funny that it so happened that all of these sliding doors were getting removed on the same day because we had forgotten that these guys were coming on this morning um, and Jalen was already planning to remove this other sliding door it was very nice to finally have all of these old metal sliding doors removed from the house they would let in a lot of cold air in the winter time hot air in the summertime when airplanes would fly over they would shake and shake if we had a really windy day or something so it was just time for them to go and we used to have a third sliding door actually over by the kitchen I think it was about two years ago now that we removed that during our home renovation and replaced it with a window and it's officially been three years now since we bought this house and started the renovations and we can't believe that three years later we're still working on renovation projects Okay, so now it is Saturday morning, I believe, and Jalen is continuing on with the drywall. He's starting off by installing it on the ceiling, and then he will start working his way down the walls. Drywalling has been a huge process and a lot of work for Jalen over the last week. He had to install all of the drywall and then do the taping and the mudding on all of the cracks and around the doors and the windows. And he has to put on three coats of the drywall mud in all of those areas and then sand everything before he could texture and paint. So he's been working really hard on this this last week and he did a really awesome job. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see what this room is currently looking like because it's really starting to take shape and we are getting so close to being completely finished. I did also forget to show you at the beginning of the video that the exterior of this room is basically almost finished. 
the contractors did come and stucco out there and apply the total wall and everything and they did all of that work while we were gone on vacation so I don't have any footage of it but I will walk you around the outside of the room and show you kind of up close of what it's all looking like at the end of the video. So while Jalen is continuing to work on that drywall, I took Levi outside for a little while because it was such a beautiful day on this day. I think it was about 74 degrees outside. Just one of those days where you wanted to be outside all day long and soak up that warm sunshine. Levi was out playing in the yard. The boys were driving their quads and dirt bikes and I decided to go ahead and plant these flowers that I gotten from Lowe's. I'm hoping these will just continue to grow and spill over these pots this summer. A quick look at those sliding doors that got installed on Friday. We are loving them so far. It's just like a night and day difference from the old sliding doors. And this one on the left does have a screen door that we can pull over, which is really nice. And the weather lately has just been amazing. So I've really been enjoying just having, that needs to be latched, but I've really been enjoying over the weekend just having the door open and letting that breeze come through the screen door. This door over here is fixed, so this is the only one that can open. It was a lot cheaper to do it that way, and we only ever use one door, so it's perfectly fine, and the couch does go right here in front of this other door. And also, here's a quick look at the outside. They are black on the outside and then white on the inside. And Tucson window and door is who we ordered them through and also who installed them and they just did a really awesome job But on Friday between the construction happening in this room and them removing the old doors and installing the new doors over here This entire main living area just has a layer of dust on everything I've tried to do a little bit of cleaning over the weekend But there's still a lot more cleaning to do because they had to do a lot of cutting and things so it was pretty dusty in here and then also the drywall dust coming in from this room. We tried to keep it contained, but it's just really hard to do. He's finishing up the last of the drywall here and for most of these windows he found that it was a lot easier to just put the entire sheet over the window and then just cut out around the edge of the window. Once the drywall was complete we were going to go ahead and start installing the shiplap on this small portion of the ceiling but we ran into a few difficulties that we're going to have to figure out and we also decided it's going to be a lot easier to install this after the walls are textured. 
So we're going to put that off for a little while and Jalen is going to start mudding this drywall. But first this room had to be cleaned up a bit. He hauled as many things out of here as he could just to make a bit more space. And then I started vacuuming the corners, the floor, the window sills, just trying to get rid of the majority of that drywall dust. He's getting his first bucket of drywall mud mixed up here and this was about a two day process just because he had to do three different coats and he had to wait for each coat to dry before he could apply the next coat. So it was a lot of time and work and with that first coat he had to apply joint tape to each of the cracks in the drywall. Okay, so on this rainy day is when we decided to paint the door. It had stopped raining and it was looking like it was starting to clear up. So we thought, okay, let's go ahead and paint the door quickly while it's cleared up a little bit. But then as soon as we started, it did start to rain again. So we had to move it under the carport here and we're just getting the door prepped for paint. We're going to be painting this door the same color as the rest of the exterior doors on the house, which is just this dark gray custom color that matches the fascia on the house. So once this door is painted, we are going to let it sit here under the carport overnight so that it can be completely dry and then we'll install it the next morning. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of what the room is looking like before I end this video. I do still have to paint the frame around this door. It's going to be the same color as the door. 
And then the contractors are also coming back to patch up and just try to fix this stucco here around the door. We also still have a little bit of work to do around these windows, some touch up paint. Okay, now I'll walk you inside and Jalen did install the quick set um, lever and lock up here. This is the same one that's over on the back door as well. Okay, so the entire room has drywall. He got all of this mudded. We did have a vent installed up here. The HVAC just runs right over here through the ceiling. So we were able to tie that in and just put a small vent over here for the room. But like I said, the sliding doors will be open most of the time, so there should be good circulation into here. Here's what this side of the room is looking like. And we didn't get that shiplap installed in the ceiling, but in the next video, that shiplap should be getting installed. We'll be installing flooring. The walls will get textured, painted, trim will get installed, and we'll pretty much have this room completely finished, hopefully, in the next video. So that is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope that you enjoy getting to see all of the progress in this room. Stay tuned, like I said, hopefully in the next episode in this little mini room makeover series. We will be completely finishing this room besides, of course, furniture and decor and everything. So stay tuned for that. And thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next week on Tuesday with a new video. Bye.